All right, everybody. I just um, I downloaded Lightworks for Linux as soon as the beta came out, the uh, public beta. I've been messing around with it. I've been watching some tutorials. Um, my initial impressions are it's okay, but it's very it's not that user friendly in my opinion. I, I came from using Final Cut Pro, then I switched to Caden Live. Caden Live was a lot more user friendly than Lightworks. I can definitely say that. Um, there are a few things I just don't like about it. Um, number one, I don't like the fact that it takes up the entire screen, that you don't have individual windows. It's You either have the entire thing up or um, it's, it's all um, gone. So that's one thing. The trimming of clips is a bit of a pain too. When you have multiple clips, uh, trimming them can be a little weird. I mean, as you see here... I did have some problems I have figured out the solutions to. As you see here, I have some video of some seagulls. Uh, this is one flying by. I'm going to put this in the timeline. Now, you would think you can just drag and drop it, but you got to hit insert or replace. So here's my seagull. Now, I had a problem putting it in slow motion. I didn't know how to do it, but that's actually fairly easy. You just click the advanced tab right here. And literally, this flyout menu comes out. You can put it in slow motion. But one thing I don't like, when you put it in slow motion, it cuts the length of the clip rather than extending the clip. So now you have to go out and re-extend it to get the length back that you wanted. So now I'm going to stretch it back out again. And here's my clip of the seagull in slow motion flying by. Something else I just figured out how to do. I could not for the life of me figure out how to copy an edit that I just made. So if I wanted to take the same clip and put it in slow motion again, I would have to redo it. You can't just click Control C, Control V. That won't work. Now I'm using an Apple keyboard here. In order to copy the edit, actually very similar to Final Cut Pro, you hold the Option key click the clip and drag it and now I just copied it that's this is now the same clip so I figured out how to do that and now to remove the clip you can't just hit delete well actually I guess you can just hit delete so I'll move this timeline to the left of it hit delete and now the clip's gone so that's how you remove it something else I had a big problem with when I first started Lightworks when I would go to export the clip, it would export all the black after the timeline. So I would literally get a couple minutes of black at the end of the clip. I tried everything to remedy that. I tried putting an out point at the end of the clip. That didn't do it. But what I come to find, you got to put an end point where you want the black to end. Drag the cursor all the way to the end and hit delete. Now well, that should take, actually, you know what? That's not going to take care of it. Do, do, do. Let's see. See, it's, it's a bit of a pain to, to learn Lightworks. So I'm going to try this again. I got it to work. Now the, uh, I'm going to hit an out point. So I have all this black, this empty space selected. I'm going to hit remove. See if that does that. That doesn't look like it did it. Now let's try delete. That did it. So now, when I go to export, I won't get the black, because I just deleted this. But the trimming, it's not quite as simple as just taking the clip and dragging it. See, now I'm extending the clip to the left, which I don't like. I'd rather just, you know, take the clip and drag it to trim it, but it, it doesn't seem like I can do that. Now I'm, now I'm sliding the clip, which I don't want to do either. Now I've come to find really the only way to, uh, to trim it individually is to move the other clip over. And then you get this little, little thing there. Now you can trim it. So you can do it, but I've just my initial impressions of Lightworks is the user friendliness isn't quite there. Although it does seem like good software. Um, one thing I did notice is the, the chroma key on Lightworks is quite good. Um, you, there's no reason to, to use a different um, editing software. 
So I'm actually going to find a picture to import. Let's see. Let's see what I can find here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what I can find. GIMP files. Yeah, I'll get a picture of Tux. Import him. So now I'm going to drag Tux down here. Now this, of course, is very much not ideal footage to do a green screen on. It's not going to come out good. Green screen slash chroma key. So I'm just going to deselect these tracks. I'll hit the effects button. And you have this menu. I'll select keying. I'll hit blue screen since that background is kind of blue. You can already see Tux a little bit. Now you can take this tool here. Kind of swap it. Swipe it that is. You, you can extend these parameters. I actually, I did an actual green screen um, with just a, a green backdrop. It came out very, very good. So I am impressed with the green screen abilities. And like I said, this is, this is very poor footage to do a green screen with, but I'm just showing how it's done. So, I mean, so far, it's, it seems it's good software, but I wish it was a bit easier to use. One other thing, this is something that drives me nuts about Lightworks. If you want to import footage, and I've never seen an editing program do this, you have to import footage with the same frame rate. You can't do one shot with 30 frames per second and another shot with 25. It all has to be the same rate. Uh, so that really limits the amount of footage you can import, which I don't like. Now just a few more things about Lightworks. Something I figured out is you can actually add keyframes to the audio if you right click on the timeline it gives you some some choices you can make like add tracks delete tracks but you go down here to audio you can click show audio waveform you got pre levels and post levels not even sure what the difference is and then show audio levels yes or no so turn that on and you get this line which is the audio level now if you right click over that audio level you get a little keyframe here so you see how the cursor turns to the straight line. You click right there, keyframe, straight line, straight line. And you hold the right mouse button when you get this little, this little cursor there. And you can actually drag that keyframe down. And you can mess with the audio level. I'm going to drag this further. So that's something I, I like right there. So you can hear the audio fade out. So that's just one more thing I learned about Lightworks that might be, you know, you might uh, need to know. So you can add all kinds of keyframes here. And remember, it's the right mouse button that, that adds them. And you got to get that little straight up and down thing or else it won't, it won't quite work. I just deleted the clip, evidently. So let's bring that back. See, so this is just messing with the audio levels. You're going to, to export, you're going to get that black. Unless if you put some in and out points there and you hit, uh, I believe it was delete or perhaps it was remove. Let's try that again. Remove, yeah, it ain't working now. See, it, this is the thing, it's finicky. Oh, see, now I know why. So I just figured, no, now here's some no control Z to undo. You have to undo by doing that. But the reason it wouldn't work is I only have this one selected. So I'm going to select them all. Now that'll fix it. I guarantee it. At least I'm pretty sure. Well, let's you know, put that back over there. Now I have an endpoint there, which I don't want. And now remove, or is it delete? Delete. There you go. Okay, so now it worked. So remember that one. It'll also get a ton of black at the end of your exports, and it'll look terrible. But anyway, so far, so good. It's not, it's not terrible. It's, good. it's decent software. Hopefully they, they make it a bit more user-friendly. Thanks for watching.